Hi guys, just a little update. I wanted to show you something. I don't know if anybody watches Survival Russia, but you'll see Lars always wearing his knife in a cross draw sort of fashion. And I thought I would just throw my own sort of spin on it. But I figured I should probably have one between winter coats and life jackets and things like that. It is handy, but let's take a look at some of the features on it here. So it is adjustable. And what I did, I don't know if you can see that or not well in the picture, I put a grommet on here to uh, attach one end of the strap in through the buckle that isn't adjustable. Just because I figure that's a little stronger than, uh, than my hand sewing skills. And I've sewn a loop onto it here, we'll see that in a minute. It is adjustable, so you can make this bigger or smaller. It actually bites pretty good, surprisingly. And the excess. I sewed a loop around the end of that as well, so that's not flopping around. Put this back to where I had it, maybe. Yeah, and then it just tightens up. But the uh, the attachment point, now you could sew yourself a loop on there if you didn't have the, uh, the buttonhole that the Moors have. And to take it off and on, basically, I just grab this, take it down, and it lifts right out of there. But if you look, that button, it's just off a pair of cargo pants that I had, but there's a piece of uh, 3 8 rubber fuel line down there. What I did was I sewed through the buttonholes, through to the back inside that fuel line to protect the thread. So now when that goes on, make sure I've got that uh, in the hole engaged, down in the bottom here, so you've got this. Fits this perfect, and my other Mora, my Companion HD. And that just goes up in there. Doesn't move around, doesn't flop or anything. And let's get the strap all lined up. So yeah, that's that. Pretty basic and straightforward. And I can always add a ferro rod or something to it later. Yeah, and I've got my knife with me where I need it when I need it. So as far as update goes, hopefully, hopefully this weekend we'll be heading out for at least one night, do a little overnighter and some camping. And hoping to do a fair bit of bushcraft in that too. So stay tuned for that. And we will see you guys here from the Northwest Territories. Take care.